Are you tired of being broken GTA Online? Having to do heists all day, but still having less than 10 mil? If you want to avoid all of that, you need an extra mods, where you can get money boosting, level boosting, and even modded accounts for all consoles and PC as well. It's not only easy to purchase, but they have 24-7 customer support and great reviews too. Check out extra mods in the description. Use coupon code JSTACKS for 5% off. Welcome to the channel, it's JSAX Games. I'm going to be showing you guys how to get a black duffel bag in GTA 5 Online. It works with female characters. I have it here on my male character. It's easy to do, so you already know. Let's get into it. First off, all you're going to want to do is bookmark the job. I put it in the link in the description of this video, so go ahead and bookmark it. And all you're going to need is a friend that's willing to help you out. If you don't have a friend, just join my Discord. We have people from all consoles, so join up. So now that you bookmarked the job, I'm going to be showing you guys how to start it up. You're going to want to go to online and go to jobs and you're going to want to go to play job and then you're going to want to go to bookmarked. Once you're in bookmarked, you want to go down to last team standing and then you're going to want to go down to job name. That's the name for the job for the black duffel bag. So go ahead and join that. Alright, so once you join that, all you're going to want to do is just invite your friend. So I'm going to invite my girl. She's going to be helping me out get this duffel bag. So just invite your friend to join up. This duffel bag glitch is really easy. The only hard part is that you're going to have to parachute. So you could just practice as long as you have the parachute on, which I'm going to show you. You'll be good. Just go ahead and start it up. As you can see I spawned with a duffel bag, just keep in mind it's not compatible with everything so you just gotta mess around and see what outfits it works on. As you can see we spawned with a duffel bag so all we're gonna do is open the interaction menu, go to style and then we're gonna go to illuminating clothing and just hold right on the d-pad to cycle through it for about 20 to 30 seconds, I would say 30 seconds just to be safe. You can use a timer at the bottom right corner to measure time so you know how long it's been. And once you've been doing it for 20 to 30 seconds, all you're going to want to do is just quit the job once you get to 30 seconds or 20 seconds. Like what I did right here. As you can see we're about to spawn and you should spawn with a duffel bag on you like how I spawn. If you didn't spawn with it on you, you probably didn't do it for enough seconds so just join back the job and do it again. So all you're going to want to do now is request a buzzard from your CEO or you could use an oppressor, your choice. Or it could be anything as long as you can parachute out to be honest. Alright, so now that I got my buzzard, I'm just going to go ahead and fly over to the mask store at the beach. Because that's where we're going to be saving the duffel bag on this outfit. As you can see we arrived at the beach so all we're going to want to do is parachute out into the mask store and we're going to want to spam right on the d-pad to save the outfit. Before you parachute as well you could um, be secure serve and make sure you bribe authorities because if the helicopter crashes you may get one star and it may not let you enter the mask store. So as you can see right here I messed up so I'm just going to do it again. As long as you have the duffel bag on your body still, you should be fine. As you can see, I can't save it because I didn't crash into it properly. I missed it. So we're, I'm just going to call out my buzzard again. And we're just going to do it again. Let's see if we can get it on the second try. Alright, as you can see, I'm doing this in a public session, by the way. Hopefully, I was worried that someone was going to kill me, but no one killed me. 
Alright, as you can see, we're just gonna fly all the way back up. This time, I'm gonna try to get a little higher so I can get more air, air time. And as you can see, I'm jumping out. I'm doing the secure serve right now because I don't want my helicopter to crash, so I'm gonna bribe the authorities. Alright, so all we're gonna want to do is just crash into the mass door and spam right on the D-pad as soon as we hit it. So I'm gonna show you right here. We're parachuting in. As soon as we hit it right there, we're just spamming right on the D-pad. And as you can see, it's saved. So now you just want to do edit save outfits. And you're just going to want to put it on an empty slot. I have a lot of slots, so I'm just looking for an empty slot right now. As you can see, I found an empty one. I'm just going to name it test because um, I'm showing you guys how to get a duffel bag. As you can see, it's saved. So now I'm just going to back out. And then I'm going to switch back to test the outfit that I just saved the duffel bag. As you can see, the duffel bag saved. Easy. As long as you're good at parachuting, just keep on trying. If you, the duffel bag goes away, then all you gotta do is just start it up again. I'm gonna switch back to my other outfit so you guys can see it's two completely different outfits. This is the no anklets outfit. As you can see, I have no duffel bag on it and I actually have my helmet. So now I'm gonna switch back to let you guys know that it's legit, that it works. So that's how you get a black duffel bag. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment down below if it worked for you. Share with your friends. If you need help, join my Discord. And you already know, man. It's JSAS Games. We out.